Welcome to Monday Motivations, 52 Weeks to a More Purposeful You. And this week, I have a very special guest, James Mendoza, my bonus son. He is a sixth grader. He is a catcher on a travel ball team, Little League, an amazing big brother. And uh, welcome to the show, James. Hi. Hi. So what did you think about this week's topic, effort? Well, I think it was like all about... Um, you know, or you, I guess you can sort of like, you have these made up, you have these made up like limits in your mind. And then um, if you, uh, if you like really go to try, then um, you can push past those limits and really excel. Yeah. Um... So do you ever experience having limits in your mind? Mm, yeah, sometimes. Can you give us an example? Uh, of sort of with like baseball, like maybe there's like a slower pitcher than, and like I can't sit back and wait for the pitch to get there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, so when you think about a slow pitcher, and what are some limiting kind of thoughts that you would put in the category of limiting? Uh, sort of like maybe negative thoughts. Yeah. 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 Like, can you give me an example? Like, uh, maybe like you can't do it or something. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, so when you have limiting thoughts and you can't do it, um, and you're thinking about this topic of effort, how do you battle negative thoughts? Mm. Flush out your mind and um, just sort of think of a, bla uh, um, a blank slate. Yeah. Yeah. That's what helps me. Do you um do you ever hear other people um friends or family um and you recognize them maybe limiting like not putting effort into something because they think they can't? Mm, not really. Yeah. They're, yeah, not really. It's either they're like going one hundred uh, like a hundred percent all in, or they're just not really caring. Hmm. Hmm. Do you ever, do you ever struggle with putting effort into something? Yeah, like with uh, with school and stuff. Like, I'll have like an essay doing a couple weeks, or I'll have like an essay doing a couple weeks or something, and then like, I'll uh, I'll like, all right, or this is sort of like on motivation, but like I'll go I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna get these first two paragraphs out today. I can take a break off tomorrow and then I can finish these two on Thursday or something. And then, uh, and then I'll write the uh, final concluding essay. I'll write the final concluding essay on Friday. And then I use my, uh, and then I use my work cited uh, on Sunday. And then I just sort of like, eh, I got time. I can put it off. Yeah. And then like, and then like two days before or like the night before the essays do, I'm like, ah, I gotta, gotta finish it. And then, yeah. Yeah, so sometimes I, I like how you, it sounds like you have a plan, like it's a big project. And I think you yeah. learned this definitely in sixth grade or maybe even in fifth grade, like chunking up into milestones. Mm -hmm. But then like there's still, it still might be hard to put the effort in and is it like procrastinating or it's just not really having the motivation or like the motivation is there and everything it's just I don't want to do it yeah yeah um so this quote at the top I don't know if you remember reading it but only those who risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. Mm -hmm. What does that quote mean to you? Um, you'll never really know your limits till you push yourself to them. 
Yeah. And, you know, when, when I think about that, I think about like, if I push, okay, I have a story. So when I was in high school, I was a competitive dancer and that was my passion. And um, my dance studio team, we started traveling to Fresno, which was a more like advanced team, yeah. advanced studio. And um, we went to this class and um, we were doing this um, like a, a practice dance. And I remember that I wanted to like, really like put my best effort in mm -hmm. and like dance full out. And the dance started out with like this move, like a back bend. And like, that was kind of one of my signature moves that I was really good at. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, like I'm going to crush this. I'm going to look so good. I'm going to do so great. And I put so much effort into it. Mm -hmm so much that I actually, my hand slipped off the bar and I fell and like, they stopped the music and everybody's crowding around me. I was all embarrassed. Like, they're like, are you okay? And so this quote makes me think of that. Like you can only risk going to wait. Only those who risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. Have you ever like put a lot of effort in and then like, just crash or like yeah like um uh, I think it was yeah at school so we were um we're doing a project um uh, and yesterday I I put in I think like two hours uh in two so we're doing like this a uh, Greek building okay we have to find a building in Sparta we're doing uh the temple of Athena uh, or one of the temples of Athena so um I like uh I went and like did uh, I started to do the uh the statue of a um I think it's Athena mm -hmm. out front mm -hmm. yeah and um I uh, I put in like a good amount of time and then uh and then um the next day another uh, another kid in my in my group so we're built into like uh, these different groups in our class, different uh different city states. Okay. And another uh, another girl in my group, uh, Jordan, she uh she actually did uh she actually did the uh the statue and um hers looked way better. So I just kind of threw mine away. Oh man, mm -hmm. I I know that feeling. Like you do so hard and then like. Oh. Mm -hmm. then yeah how about this so we just talked about um putting a lot of effort in and then seeing our limits like even after we put effort in then it's like doesn't go so well have you can you think of any times when you didn't put all your effort in and then it's over and then you're like yeah I really could have done more yeah like um I had a weak ground ball or I had a, a chopper mm -hmm. to third base, um, and uh, I get or and I uh, I like anticipated that it was gonna be a base hit, so I didn't really like go a hundred hundred ten percent to first base, just sort of like yeah jogged ish, and uh, yeah. Oh, that's that is that is an excellent example. So having thought about this topic of effort, what advice would you give yourself and other people listening about effort? Um, go all in. Go all in. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what about go all in and like risk failing or risk like making a mistake? Yeah. Wait, what about effort? So um, like, uh, Effort, uh, effort is really what counts. Like that's why, uh, that's why, uh, like, or that's why not a lot of people like baseball, cause you can, um, you can go, zero for four, um, with four, uh, with four balls, that are, uh, that are absolutely hammered, just right two people, and then you can go, uh, then you can go three for three with uh with like uh weak uh with weak like dribblers down the line and yeah yeah so 
So the wisdom of our 12 year old guest is go for it, mm -hmm. put your all in it. Yeah. And what's great about that? Um, if you, uh, if you're going 110%, then you'll go, uh, you'll go really far. Um, or like, uh, a kid on uh, a kid on uh, my team, Jenner. Uh, he's swinging for the fence every single uh, every single pitch, every single at bat, and um and he strikes out most of the time, but he's one of the select few uh, this year in the home run uh, in the home run club. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, he's gonna have a chance to compete in. Uh, he's gonna compete in the uh, home run derby. Yeah, this year. yeah. Yeah, so be like Jenner, go big or go home, go for it. So James, thank you so much for being our guest today. Um, and everyone, please join us next week. Let's see what the topic's going to be next week. is going to be, oh, it's competition. And guess who's our guest next week? Dad. Oh, Dad. Yeah, so we'll have Rusty Mendoza next week talking about competition, which is very appropriate. And uh, James, is there anything that you'd like to promote? Um, something that you want our listeners to do? It might be like volunteer for something or um, I don't know. Is there anything exciting that you encourage our listeners to do? Um, uh, just um, it's kind of like uh, in football threading the needle. You uh, when you see that open window, you have a tight. Uh, it's a tight gap. If you uh, if you go and uh, and and uh, grab the moment. If uh, if you fail, that's okay. If you uh, if you do good, if you yeah, if you do good, then. Yeah, so just compete. Go for it. Yeah. All right, there you have it. Wisdom from a 12-year-old, almost 13. So we'll see you next week. And thanks for joining us on Monday Motivations.